welcome back to another week of the take. I'm Bill Gannon. I'm John Spinato. And Ralph. Demusis. Demusis. Yes, we have Ralph in the house tonight. He's going to talk about. Uh, well, first we're going to say something about the uh, your your service with the uh, military. Can you yeah. bring us up to speed. Uh, I know you said you were beforehand. Uh, I did two years in the army and a year in Vietnam, and uh, a lot a lot of art artillery for a whole year over there, and. Uh, which is the reason we are bringing up the subject about fireworks and mm -hmm. yeah the effect the effect on veterans. Right tonight we uh, if uh, Pete you could put the uh, the sign up about the uh, the little posting that the uh, veterans are putting up and we'll put that up in a second. But uh, we're we're trying to bring awareness to uh, how fireworks can almost bring you back to like you say the heavy art artillery that's being fired by these. Uh, at the, you know, in different regions of the wars, wherever you were, whether it's in uh, Desert Storm or... Well, I'm, I'm not even so much concerned about myself because I've been over 40 years now back home. Yeah. And you get a little more used to it, yes. But um, uh, I'm, it's more, I'm more concerned about the... Well, back in my day, it was you, went, you went for a year and you came home. Nobody forced you to go back again. But nowadays, you've got people going back five, six times. And um, it, it must really be making them crazy to hear yeah. fireworks constantly for... Not even just Fourth of July anymore. It's uh, everything possible. I heard it on Father's Day the other day. What does right. Father's Day have to do with fireworks? Yeah. Uh, Christmas, you name it. I hear it all the time, and it's just ridiculous. And um, right. I think it's a lack of respect for the veterans, which we're trying to promote here. I, I would say by um, talking about this, that hopefully people would stop and think about it a little bit more. Yeah, and, and as you're saying, you're not really saying that you're against it on Fourth of July. Per se, but you're just grew up with that. I yeah, and, and you're willing to accept that. It's just it's the other days that you wish people would be more respectful. Sometimes it's sometimes it's not even anything. It's just yeah, <laughs> just absolutely no any any old weekend, and it just gets ridiculous, you know. Absolutely, and, and you're trying to and and what these signs are doing, and you kind of got involved with these. Is it, it just kind of tells you that there's a vet there, and and kind of like you say, be respectful to yeah. to his needs and maybe. Right. Uh, um, I, I worked uh, for 16 years in the VA hospital, too, and uh, came to see a lot of not only just physical problems, but mental problems and so forth, and, uh, and, uh, and I feel for my fellow veterans. I feel, I feel any way possible that they need help uh, and to be looked out for, and, and this is one of them. I think that if people really are so patriotic and really care about their country and really love their freedom, how about the freedom of the guy who you may flip him out and maybe possibly do something harmful to himself, you know? Why not think about him a little bit? That's a good point. Because yeah, I it think seems that, that uh, these gentlemen or these ladies, whatever, they fought for freedom, for peace and tranquility. And here they are, they're, they're put into a situation that reminds them of what they went through. It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't really make sense to them. I can understand that. You know right. what do they call post-traumatic stress disorder? Right. A and really, that that is a very fragile type of thing, where I could see where any sort of uh, unexpected sound. That's mm -hmm. probably what's the worst part. Right. Like you said, yeah. anything. Well, like, that like, like I said, I've gotten I've gotten more used to things like that. But I can recall being not not home for all that long at one time in a sudden loud thunderstorm would, would just send me on the ground. And uh, so I realized the effects of it. Wow. And, um, and now, the, like I said, these people are going back four, five, six times, and it must really, really get to them. Yes. And yeah. they need a little more respect, I think. And, and the, uh, the suicide rate is just really gets me down to see that. It's worse than it was in our Vietnam era. Hmm. And, um, and so I pe people need to stop and think, um, how can I help? Yeah, and that would be one way. That's just a little little stick the Fourth of July with the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we tolerate point. that. Right. Yeah. right, and that's the thing. Do you have any pointers to any 